everyone who I know who knows you has said we're gonna get along great because you live in the film room. And I see you've already got the remote. I usually I hold the remote, but I'm not even gonna go near it. I'm afraid to ask to touch it. And uh, let's let's learn football. First play of the game. So we got trips left down here. Uh, we'll try to burst this running back down at the running back up top. I'm um, trying to see what this weak side linebacker does. Um, he goes with the running back, so we're up top automatically on the slant. Only thing I gotta do is hold that strong side line, or weak side linebacker with my eyes. So I hold him for a count, have a chance to give Chad on a slant, and Chad takes it to the house. Good first play of the game. So yeah, can we take, let's look at the end zone because I want to see how you, and you're talking 44 is the guy you yes. have to deal with. That is the weak side linebacker that trips left. So just hold him for a count. You see my eyes for a count. That's all it takes is boom. Because I have him already by leverage. He's on the hash mark. We're in wide splits already because we are an air raid offense. And uh, we do like wide splits because I have a good enough arm to get it out there. So if we're going to throw 18-yard comebacks from the left hash to the far sideline, we can do that in wide splits just because of my arm strength. So we like doing that, and I can hold that. As all it takes is that long and throw a slant, let Chad work. That's the thing about the air raids. We're going to throw it a bunch and giving our guys a chance to run the space. It's third and seven. Uh, it was a great play call by our coach because we know we have an outside guy who's our best receiver. We have him you know, basically singled out. Uh, we have a great opportunity with the number two receiver on a 15-yard stop. If we don't like the outside guy, get to your eyes inside. And you can see, again, I checked a ton of plays this year. The Oregon game, I checked close to 70 plays that, that game. Completely different plays. Right here, you can see me talk to the running back a little bit. He's, he's supposed to have an option this play, but I feel like watching film, this guy's going to buzz out of there. We have an opportunity to have a three-way go. So I tell him to run a sneak route. So I change the protection, five-man protection now. So he gets out, boom. And uh, that's something in the air raid offense that kind of benefits you as you can check whatever you want as long as you have a good, a good reason for it. What on film told you that 52 was likely to buzz? Well, this weak side linebacker and this Sam linebacker uh, walked up on line of scrimmage with a mic in the middle. They're trying to throw a 40 front on there. They don't do that. It was pretty obvious this guy was going to get out of there. Does, he, does his body language show he's coming? No, not really. If he's coming, he's, he's down, he's ready to come. He wants to hit the quarterback. He wants his stats up just like everybody else. So his body language right here gives it away. So he gets out of there. I check the play to the running back. Boom, replace him. It's easy, first down. It's fourth and eight in the situation. Here we go. Yep, I punted in high school. So I, uh, that was part of our dimension. We went four on fourth down a bunch. We don't want Christian McCaffrey returning the football. So we punt this thing, we punt this game. Had some hang time as well. Yeah. Your guys were down. I, I punted some seventy easily. yarders this year in practice. I think I had a sixty-something yard against San Diego State this year too. But I also had a thirteen-yard versus Oregon. So I'll make sure I'm so, critical of uh, myself okay. too. Yeah, but that was only one time. Right here, probably the best throw of the game. I, I think it's second and ten. I believe we had a, a draw on, so we're trying to make it third and three and keep the chains moving so we can have a chance to win this game. I knew it was Tampa two. I mean, look at the safety down here. I mean, he's in the middle of the field. That's a, that's a long way for him to run. Yeah. So I immediately check it to our four vertical scheme. His train tracks, if you will, is right here. Middle of the numbers. So he can go inside or outside, but at the same time, he's got to work back to that. He's got to be he, on the he, numbers. he does that, and that's where I'm throwing him to. So we, we do this a ton. We do every day in the summer. I mean, this is where your, your work pays off. This is a good throw and a good catch. I like this play a lot right mm -hmm. here. So it's a pure progression play. Similar to a curl flat, you know, we're trying to bring this guy, that safety, out to number one so we have isolation on X. So I'm a little late with it just because I do hold my eyes a little bit, and that's probably why the ball wasn't as good as it should have been, because um, I'm trying to rush it a little bit. You got to throw it right through that window, and she has a good job. First down. Not a good play. Um, you can see right there, that's a touchdown. But I'm a little late. The play action doesn't suck these linebackers very good and makes a great play. I mean, you just got to be more in rhythm. A lot of NFL traits in that game, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one thing about our offense. I think it's hated on a bunch. Is that you could see there's a bunch of NFL throws there. I mean, if you pull out the San Diego State game, we threw it 73 times that game, but we threw a ton of post curls, digs. So the air raid offense could get its knocks and stuff like that. But you can see if you know the concepts, you know what the defense is doing, you, you can have a chance to be pretty successful. You just got to be a gym rat, and this got to be important to you, which it is for me. Cool. Well, hey, we wish you all the best. Appreciate it's been it. a lot of yes, fun sir. Thanks. learning from you. Yeah, no doubt. Appreciate it.